Today we're going to be talking about creating a two-line message on the MX1. So as you can see, we've got our Sneed coding solutions typed in there, but we're just going to start from scratch. Now we're going to put in a lot code and a date code, so there's going to be a few things that we're going to go through in here. So the very first thing we're going to do is going to go to our edit, uh, edit single file. Now, uh, if we needed to uh, create something new, if there was something there, we can always go to our file uh, and select uh, uh, new or open. But we've got a blank screen here, so we're just going to start from scratch. Now, along the right here, we've got our text objects, time objects. These are the different objects that we can add into the message. So we're going to do a lot code for the date uh, for the first line. Uh, so we've got uh, we hit our text object, put our uh, it's our placeholder is in here. You can see here on the second line there, that's where our uh, text actually appears at. We're going to click the edit button. That pops up the keyboard. From there, we want to make sure we hit the empty. You'll notice that nothing changed in the white area, but the smaller text area here, that is now all cleared out. So from here, uh, we're going to type in our first little bit of information. We're going to do lot. And you'll see that it's popping up. It's displaying here, but not uh, right there. Uh, until we actually finish everything and click finish, then it'll appear up there. Uh, for, but for right now, we're going to put the uh, lot in there, and we're going to add a space. And we're just going to call this 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So we've got a five-digit lot number, and we're going to click on finish. And now we can see that it, that it populates into the print preview area. Below we'll have all our message attributes. This is going to be our coordinate position. X is where it is horizontally. Y is where it is vertically. The rotation, zero is going to be straight, but we can rotate that all the way around like a clock. Uh, we've got our font. This is the default Sim Sun. Uh, our size is 150. That's just under a quarter of an inch. Uh, you can look at the scale here. It's in millimeters to determine just how big it is. Uh, we have our interval. This is our spacing between the characters. Uh, interval, uh, an interval of, of zero uh, is your default. If you need to space it out or spread it out a little bit, you can use that. And then variable, that allows us to put in uh, data from a spreadsheet or an outside source. For right now, we're not going to do anything more than put the text in here. So we've got it uh, lot one, two, three, four, five. That's a little large uh, for most of our customers. So we're actually going to turn that down here. I'm just going to hold the button down until we get down to about 72. Uh, and that is the average print size for the majority of our customers uh, when they're doing a lot or date code on the bottle or uh, retail packaging, something along those lines. So we have our lot number in there, but now we need to add in our expiration. Uh, so we're going to, going to create another object, and this time we're going to create a time object. You'll see that again it po populates the print preview area uh, and puts the information here. We'll want to touch it just to select it. It turns red so you know that, we, that that's the object that we're working on. Uh, all of our attributes again are in this area here. What we need to do is we want to uh, do an expiration date. So we're going to select expiration or select uh, user defined. Then we're going to select our format. Uh, I like to start with the uh, numbers first, so we're going to put them in order. You'll notice at the bottom here displays what it looks like. So we're going to start off by putting the month as first and the day as second. Uh, so we're going to change that to a two, so it is one, two, three. You'll notice that that order changed down here. Uh, so now we need to change our suffixes. So after the year, we don't need anything. After the month, we want to have our slash. After the day, we want to change that to a slash. And you'll notice that all that updated here. And we still have our time showing, so I'm going to cancel those out. And now we just have our month, day, and year. But we want a two-year expiration, so this is our year column, our month column, and our day column. Uh, if we just needed a few days, uh, we can add on we'll bump this up to 14 just for example purposes you'll notice that the date changed uh, we're going to move that back down because i want a two-year expiration here and i'm just going to increase that two and you'll notice that the date changed for you so whatever this looks like is what you should have when we click ok on the outside screen there uh, that 
this number looks a little bit different because the calendar does account for leap year uh, so it does keep those extra days in mind uh, we do need to change our size so we're going to reduce that down so it's the same size a 72 we're just going to touch it and drag it over here now we have our lot, we have our lot number, and we have our expiration date. But we forgot to put in that extra little piece of text that lets everybody know that's the expiration. So we're going to touch text again to create another text object. We're going to click Edit. We're going to empty that out. And we're going to put in E, X, P. Okay, E, X, P. Click on Finish. We're going to reduce the size down again to 72 so that everything matches. We're going to drag that piece right over into its spot. We're going to take a look. Our X is 0, a Y of 82. Oh, so we'll notice that the Y is different. So we're going to want to increase that to 82 so that those match. And we're going to make this an X0, Y0 just to check our coordinate positions. Everything is good. So we're going to click on File and save we've got to give it a name we're just going to call it lot date click ok that takes us back to our message editor now we're going to click on file and exit it doesn't show the file so we're going to need to select it go back to our file browser select lot and date click OK and it populates in the area there so we know we've got everything that we need our two line message our date code lot number everything's ready to print get your line set up and start production